Now I'm going to introduce my buddy from my hometown, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's here again by popular demand, Will Durst. something special about this town and it's made up of you guys and, and you, you know that this it's not the real world okay I will admit <laughs> San Francisco is kind of a it's a little bubble it's an encapsulated little it's it's like a yuppie terrarium is what it is <laughs> but, not, but not your run of the mill yuppies no no we have organic heirloom artisanal yuppies <laughs> but also San Francisco is more than that San Francisco it's kind of like a, a petri dish of social change because we're allowed to intermingle in it. So it's sexual, we're all going to end up with hemophilia. But it's, you know, because progressive thought is allowed to, uh, to grow and bubble here. I mean, you think about it, you can be anybody in San You can reinvent, you can be a, a, a red bearded Lithuanian vegan dwarf in the golden showers. Come on down, the water's fine. We got a street festival for that. <laughs> That's one of the things that I love about this town. Uh, there's, there's some things, uh, you know, it's getting hard to afford to live here. I mean, you know, I could have I could have moved to San Francisco if I only had three quarters of a million dollars in 1979. But uh, it is it's a very important thing to keep alive, and I think this church and Dolores are one of the important, and you guys are, you know, because. We we got to be able to shake our fist at the, the George Bushes of the world, and and uh, you know because we are the the, the enemy, and uh, I am proud to be his enemy, and uh, it's it's great to have you warriors uh, on on our side. Later on, I'll come back and, and do some jokes. I'm gonna have the job that Janet and Vahid have done so far. <laughs> And uh, all the awards and uh, congratulations, and uh, it especially affected me when uh, Richard Becker was up here. And I was talking about 85 families have the same amount of wealth as half the population of the planet. And America, you know, six of the top 10 richest Americans are all Walton family members. Yeah. Really, six? The top 10? And you can't pay people a living wage? You couldn't. You couldn't give some of that money? I mean, you could be six of the top 20 richest <laughs> Americans. And wouldn't that help? That's uh, one of the problems 
with the, and that's why I'm glad uh, Obama yesterday in the State of the Union address uh, actually addressed the income inequality in America. Give America a raise, and you know, I mean, of course, the negotiated response by the Republicans is no, 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 sir, no, way. not a millionaires. Let me think. No, I'll think on it. No, what are you fool? Uh, oh, I, I know people love or hate Obama, uh, but. Uh, no matter what you, what you think of him, you gotta admire his ability not to get involved in the policies that he actually is for. <laughs> <laughs> he may not be spineless, but he certainly is limber. <laughs> we'll give him that. Of course, you know, they hate him for all the wrong reasons. He was born in Kenya. No, he wasn't. He was born in Honolulu in a manger. We all know <laughs> And he was uh, visited by the three Howleys who presented him with a piece of gold, frankincense, and poopy shells if you had. That joke only works in the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I just think that they, they hate him so much. I mean, nothing he does. They won't give him a break. I mean, he could discover a cure for cancer, and Republicans would complain he's anti big pharmaceutical. <laughs> they, they criticized Michelle Obama's anti obesity program. For crumbs sake, who's pro obesity? <laughs> the Husky Casket Corporation? <laughs> Angioplasty Balloons R Us? <laughs> Wisconsin Tourism Board? <laughs> From Wisconsin, I get to say. Uh, <laughs> but people still take offense. That's why I love you guys. You guys, you know, you're always worried about everybody. Including uh, my huge, immense, behemoth Wisconsin ants. Who, uh, but I won't go into that. Uh, of course, I already talked about 2016 and Chris Christie. His, uh, and I think he's going to be the nominee. He's too big to fail. But uh, <laughs> there's Ted Cruz as a possibility for the Republican Hi. nomination. The guy who ran, I don't know if he's Ted Cruz, a little to the right of Pol Pot. Yeah, <laughs> Ted Cruz is the guy who read Dr. Seuss's entire green eggs and ham on the floor of the Senate in his full filibuster. And, and then <laughs> he read it and he misinterpreted the moral. <laughs> Because the book is about the protagonist doesn't like green eggs and ham until he tries it, and then he likes it. And uh, Cruz said the same thing about Obamacare, but when he said this, Obamacare hadn't kicked in yet. So it's it's uh, he's confused by the space-time continuum. <laughs> and and <laughs> the uh, the moral of a book aimed at kindergartners. <laughs> I'm hoping that he actually gets elected. <laughs> Nominated. I'm sorry. Nominated. <laughs> of course, I am a comedian. You know, I mean, that's why it's hard with Obama because he's so smooth. You know, I mean, there's, I mean, there's no hint of scandal. You know, everybody's tried. Hillary tried, and McCain tried, and, and what's his name? Uh, the guy who disappeared. Romney tried. <laughs> did Romney actually ever exist? <laughs> Where did he go? Did they fold him back up and put him away? Because <laughs> There was so much more in the original package. <laughs> but everybody tried, but Obama, man, he's smooth. He's like Chevy on chrome. He's got less friction than rayon pajamas on silk sheets at zero gravity. <laughs> makes, makes Clint look like a chunk of concrete wrapped in Velcro dipped in wallpaper. <laughs> And I also, I also think, of course, that uh, Paul Ryan is going to make a run. We all know Paul Ryan, he was Romney's choice as a VP, and they kept saying, he's a bold choice, you know, for Romney, which, you know, bold choice, everybody, but bold, not always synonymous with good. <laughs> Whiskey for breakfast is a bold choice. <laughs> Passing 18-wheeler on a blind curve, doing 80 in the rain, incredibly bold. <laughs> And of course, Paul Ryan is a guy who uh, uh, he gets rid of Medicare and he replaces it with vouchers, coupons, healthcare coupons. Because old people want coupons. I got a coupon. Only four more when you book the anesthesiologist. Only three for Kaiser. And that's the society. Then you phase in early bird organ transplants and somehow the, somehow the coupon involved. <laughs> 55% off your designer colonoscopy. Well, we have to sell 600 by 4 pounds, we'll tell you that. And I'm, I'm a 
big fan of health care. I'm glad uh, the ACA. And it's amazing. You ask people, uh, what do you think of Obamacare? I hate it. What about the Affordable Care Act? I think that's pretty good. You know, I mean, that's, that's the American people. You know. But I mean, look at me. I'm a schmuck comic. It's not like uh, I'm an employee. Oh, the spaghetti dinner for the 99% <laughs> or the Universalist uh, Unitarian Church um, or, or the city center. I'm, I'm just uh, an itinerant minstrel. My job is I am. I wander the country dropping my little chuckle pellets and hamlets all over this ground. <laughs> I'm glad healthcare passed. I understand people are upset or leery. I think they're just anxious because Bill has 2,400 pages, <laughs> or 2,700. They're still not sure. Shouldn't they be sure? A lot of stuff can happen at 300 pages. <laughs> I've read Harry Potter. <laughs> I still think the third book was the best. Ever. The seventh book, the crumb say, he kills Voldemort by talking him to death. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hashtag spoiler alert. <laughs> and of course, they don't know how they're going to pay for. Uh, they're talking about a series of sin taxes, and you know what sin tax is? That's where they find you for using a hyphen when an ellipsis was called for. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that joke kills at library conventions. No, it's, uh, it's where they penalize you for being a bad person. It's a it's a penalty. It's a tax on fast food and liquor and tobacco, and, and that's pretty much me. <laughs> it is. I smoke and I drink and I eat red meat and I know I'm a bad man. But I'm not stupid. I'm down to three cigarettes a day. Mostly because I live in San Francisco. Is that a cigarette? That was a joint. Well, it better be. One time I did a gig in Bolinas and uh, I, I handed out the invisible joint and it made it all the way around. <laughs> so, uh, I got done with the show and I thought, I'm saying goodbye to everybody. Somebody can play. <laughs> I love Bolinas. I wish Obama luck. I really do. I hope that, uh, uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, he doesn't really have a party behind him. He has Democrats. <laughs> God, wouldn't you rather have terracotta warriors on your side? <laughs> At least they're all facing the same direction. <laughs> I doubt if three out of ten Democrats could escape from a stalled escalator in under an hour. <laughs> Escalators the moving staircase. You know. Elevator is the box, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, why do you think the Democrats are so intent to passing the stem cell bill? They're depending on that research to generate a spine. They're <laughs> <laughs> not even there. They're in the middle of a war. Republicans are attacked with torches and pitchforks. And the Democratic response is to introduce legislation to reform pitchfork safety standards. <laughs> you should put quotes on those. Phosphorescent for nighttime visibility. <laughs> of course, in our lifetime, we've seen the Republicans de evolve into a single cell amoeba. That you got. They're the tax cut zombies from the planet No. <laughs> I mean, they turned into the Rain Man party, you know, tax cuts, yeah, definitely tax cuts. Yeah, tax cuts. <laughs> and all the, all the tax cuts go to the wealthy. Does that make any sense at all? You're giving, you're giving money to the rich. The rich have money. <laughs> That's why they're rich. Give somebody the poor. Give the rich a hug. All right, why not for your government hug? Because you'll be let out to the lowest bidder. I'll do it for free. <laughs> and then, of course, you can't, you know, tax it. You know. Well, obviously, you're an ignorant individual, unable to comprehend the complexities of supply side economics. The deal is we get the money of the rich, <laughs> then they spend it, and it trickles down to the poor. No, they're not going to spend it. They're going to hang on to it. That's how they got rich. <laughs> you give us poor money, I guarantee we will blow every damn penny. <laughs> Do it again for the sake of the economy. <laughs> this 
shine and try to be trickled on. <laughs> Becoming a mite suspicious of the alkaline nature of this trickle. <laughs> Well, uh, you guys got a, a lot of program. I want to thank you so much for, for uh, inviting me to come back. And just to tell it, uh, uh, you are my target demographic. You're people who read or know someone who does. And, uh, and that's uh, So I want to thank you and turn you back to the capable and trustworthy hands of uh, Jenna Will and uh, the Hebrew Son. <laughs> Thank you.